everyone, for what values of x does the series converge absolutely, conditionally? And we're also going to find the interval of convergence. So we're going to use the ratio test, and that is the limit as n approaches infinity of absolute value of a sub n plus 1 divided by a sub n. Okay, so that's going to equal the limit as n approaches infinity of uh, absolute value of 3x minus 2 to the power of n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. We're dividing by a sub n, so we're just going to multiply by the reciprocal. So this is going to be times n divided by uh, absolute value of 3x minus 2 to the power of n. Now simplifying this, we're going to get uh, this part right here. Remember, we're looking at n. This is just going to be when you divide these two, you're just going to get absolute value of 3x minus 2. Okay, so if you have uh, a to the power of n plus 1 divided by a, that just equals uh, a or a to the n. So that just equals a. So that's what we got there. Now we still have the limit as n approaches infinity of our n divided by n plus 1. Now this just equals 1. So basically um, if this uh, our limit equals absolute value of 3x minus 2. Uh, for this to be convergent, this uh, our uh, limit for the ratio test has to be less than 1 to converge absolutely. So we're going to write this less than 1. That means I'm going to write this as 3x minus 2 is less than 1 but greater than negative 1. Now we're going to add 2 to everything. So you're going to get um, 1 is less than 3x is less than 3 and divide everything by 3 and you're going to get 1 third is less than x is less than 1. So uh, the series converges uh, on this interval from uh, 1 third to 1. That's going to be your uh, absolute convergence. Um, by the way, this series diverges, if you use the ratio test here, for absolute value of 3x minus 2 is greater than 1. Now, we're going to check um, uh, the endpoints. So let's do that. We're going to check uh, x equals 1. If you put uh, substitute in 1 in here, you're going to get the sum n equals 1 to infinity of 1 divided by n. So this diverges by the p-test. So this is divergent or divergence. And now let's check x equals 1 third. So that's going to give you um, the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of uh, negative 1 to the power of n divided by n. Now this does not uh, converge absolutely, but it converges conditionally because this is the alternating um, harmonic series. So it converges conditionally. All right, by the alternating series test. So therefore, the interval of convergence equals, um, since it converges absolutely, it can equal one-third. Since it diverges at one, it can't equal one. So that's going to be um, written like that. The series converges absolutely 
So absolute, uh, absolutely, it converges on one third comma one, and it converges conditionally at x equals one third. All right, so that's like one, two, three. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.